our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The unbeaten champion, one year older than the former two-time champion. He is, you take a look at that reach, 73 inch reach to 69. Those four inches can mean a lot to Brett Primus in this fight. Chandler Primus, weight is over. Michael C. Williams, official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, presented by Bellator and the USO, the time has come from Hawaii for the Salute the Troops main event of the evening. Five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Lightweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the Hawaii Mixed Martial Arts Program Executive Officer Alan Taniguchi. Tonight's world title fight brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste, only 96 calories. And now, live on Paramount Network, we introduce the Blue Corner. At five foot eight, weighing in 153.9 pounds, the two-time former Bellator lightweight world champion tonight brings 18 professional victories, four defeats. From Nashville, Tennessee, he fights out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the challenger, Iron Michael. And across the cage, the champion tonight fights out of the red corner at five foot 10, weighing in 154.9 pounds, making the first defense of his world title. He enters undefeated, eight victories, no defeats. By way of Irvine, California, he fights out of Portland, Oregon, introducing a defending Bellator lightweight world champion, Brad Rimmon. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to keep it clean. Touch gloves and let's do this. I agree with Herb. Let's do this. I cannot wait for this fight. The champion is Brent Primus. The challenger has held the title twice. You ready to fight? Michael ready. Chandler. Right. Here we go! A quick kick early from Primus. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Red gloves for Primus, blue gloves for Chandler. We always used to say in fighting, you know what? You, you need to take that first hit. And right now, I think Brett Primus needs to take that first hit. He looks a little tight, a little anxious, just settle down. Throwing a lot of his own kicks early. Chandler waiting for his opportunity to explode. Primus, kick after kick. A little slip and rip, but he missed on the return. And he's looking for that kick again. He is, but you can see what Michael Chandler is doing with his footwork. Watch him as he's bouncing in and out. He's making a very nice set down on that one, but he's making a good little adjustment on those kicks, and that's why you see a lot of Brett's kicks have been missing. Going towards that lower leg. Primus, 33 years old. Chandler, 32 years old. 23rd professional fight for Chandler, just the ninth for Brent Primus. 90 seconds into the first of a potential five. Oh, big left hand. Big left hand lands, but the right return by Primus. Chandler connected big time. Both need to settle down, but I tell you what, Michael absolutely hit Brett harder than Brett was able to touch Michael. Brett is still a little bit wobbly. He's going after the finish early, and he has Primus's attention. Again, Chandler on top. This is not a bad thing for Brent Primus right now. He is wobbly on his feet. He needs to just settle down, control. Bring those legs up high. Try to control the posture of Mike Chandler right now. Michael Chandler 
number two with 15 career wins inside the Bellator cage. Number one is Patricio Pitbull, the two-time featherweight champion with 16. If Brent Primus can control the posture like he's doing right now of Michael Chandler, he's gonna get all of that, that all of that energy is gonna settle down, that what he got hurt by is gonna come back to him, but he just keeps on hooking his toes in that cage, trying to turn and create an angle. Both men delivered shots early in the round. Chandler looking to do some damage inside the guard of Primus here. Well, they both landed shots, but it was absolutely Chandler landed the shot that hurt Primus the most. That was the most telling blow, and that is why you're seeing Brent Primus now on his back. Primus trying to control the posture of Iron Michael Chandler. Primus earned his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt in just six years. Began training at age 20, Gracie Baja. Herb Dean's gonna have to do something about Brent Primus trying to grab with his toes. He can put his foot on that fencing material and push off, but he cannot grab hold of it with his toes to try to turn his position or control Mike Chandler. I am Mike trying to break the will of Primus here early. Not, you know, that's right in front of us, Mike, and you can hear those are heavy shots that Brent Primus is getting dealt by Mike Chandler right now. Another big elbow from Michael Chandler. This is saying a lot because look, at if, if Brent is going to be on his back, this is the time if you want to try to go for a submission is to start to go for it before Michael Chandler is really sweaty and really wet because it's going to be hard as the rounds go on. Tenth time Chandler's been scheduled for five. Second time, Primus has been scheduled for five. The first one lasted 222. Yeah, he's never been there, and that is a big disadvantage. You never know for sure what it's like until you do it. If it gets that far. Watch True. those toes. Those are five. Those are two. Big start for the former champion. Final seconds of round number one. Out. I don't want to get involved with Goldie, here's that right hand that misses, but watch the left hand. Bink, right on the chin, puts Primus down, and then you had that exchange, and it was not a punch by Primus. It was almost a clash of heads that actually put Primus down and Chandler down. Round two. Michael Chandler, Big John, obviously got round one on your scorecard. No doubt about it, dominated that round, almost closing in on a 10-8. Brent Primus. His brother, a veteran, Brandon, served in the Marines. He's here tonight, his stepdad in the Army. Chandler trying to get back what he believes has always been his. I love the fact that Primus, he's throwing a lot of things out, but it's the speed difference that you're seeing between Michael Chandler and Brent Primus. That is what is creating the problem now for Primus. He is having a hard time dealing with the speed of Michael Chandler. Primus has not fought a ton, but he's never lost either. Good body shot. Clean. You can see that he's doing damage to that leg, though. He keeps on going after that kick, and you can see that Michael Chandler's left leg is starting to get a little bit pink, a little bit red. And you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't have to go out. Oh, he got caught! He, did. he got caught with a left Great hand shot. In. He's on his... Primus on top. Primus. Primus just rocked Chandler. Primus needs to settle down, relax in this position. Don't go crazy. Just take your time and work from the work for that submission. Trying to lock it in. Can he get it here? Brent Primus does he not have it right now. Mike. Mike Chandler better get rid of that arm or he's in trouble. And he does. At least for now. We've got ourselves a fight! 
We have seen Michael Chandler in this position with Eddie Alvarez before, and that's exactly what he does. That was a big shot landed by Primus. But now he has a big problem that, like he had in round number one, and that is Chandler in top position. Well, you can see that Michael Chandler's trying to hide his head right now, trying to gain some time, get his breath back, because look at, although that choke didn't work, it absolutely was tight with putting pressure on him. And he got rocked. He did. Michael Chandler has never been submitted in his professional career. Big, heavy punches from Chandler from the top, able to posture up. And now the close guard again to Primus. Good job of Primus to get him back to guard because he actually had passed in the half guard. Primus brings him back. Primus said in the first fight he gave Chandler way too much respect. Well, Primus is going to have a problem. If he cannot con control the posture of Michael Chandler, he cannot stay on the ground with a guy throwing the shots with the power that Michael Chandler is bringing. And as we've seen over the years, Chandler doesn't need a lot of space to do a ton of damage. No, he is showing that he has a very solid ground game, big ground and pound. And when he brings his shots in, he brings power. <laughs> Go, fight. Michael Chandler. Fight. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Four career losses. Two of them were split decision losses. A fourth round TKO in that first round loss to Brent Prentice 538 days ago. Just over a minute on the clock here in round number two. Got a small cut on Chandler, and I believe it was a clash of heads as he was coming down. Brent was bringing his head up, and there was a clash of heads that caused that cut. Chandler looking to become a three-time Bellator lightweight world champion. Good ground and pound again here in round two. There's some bruising on the forehead of Primus from all this heavy ground and pound from Chandler. Primus now holding on, he's controlling the posture, but this is not gonna do any good for him. He has got to open up that guard and attack him. Chandler teeing off. Primus did a good job blocking that flurry. Don't forget, immediately following tonight's card, watch the Bellator 212 post show on the Bellator app and the zone. Download the app now. Jay Glazer, Chael Sonnen, Josh Thompson, be at the Miller Lite fight desk, round three. Both men have landed big shots. Chandler in round one, Primus in round two. Both men have put each other on their butts in this fight. This has turned into a great battle between these two. Big swing and a miss. And partner, I was starting to say when Primus connected with Chandler that he, he doesn't have to, you know, deactivate the leg like he did in that first fight. He can Benson Henderson if he wants to and continue to just take that leg away systematically. Absolutely, and you know, keep going after it. I honestly believe, I think, I think Michael Chandler would be better off being in closer range to Brent Primus and not allowing Primus to have that length on him. There's all kinds of ranges in fighting. We've got our kicking range, we've got our punching range. I would want him to come inside of that and utilize that range inside that he could do damage to Brent Primus and not have that long, that jab that Brent Primus is using. Good right hand by Chandler, but he keeps going back to the well too many times trying to land that big right hand. Able to get back on top. A lot of training partners and coaches from Hawaii here cheering for Brent Primus tonight. Born in Eugene, Oregon. Trains at Performance Martial Arts. 
in Eugene, his home gym since he was a white belt. You see Prim is trying to bring that leg over on top of Chandler's arm. You're gonna see Chandler stand up and pull it out. There you go. This is where it becomes very difficult for the submissions to start to take place because of the sweat. It's, there's nothing to hold on to at times. And the guy has to make a mistake for you to be able to latch onto that. And when that happens, it's, it, it's a moment of time for you to catch on to it. And oh, by the way, not that Primus can't finish this fight in the third, fourth, or potentially fifth round, but all six of his career finishes came in round number one. We're well past that way. On that point now, and we're just past the midway point of this championship fight. And we've seen a lot of this big job. It's going to be interesting to see what Herb Dean does. He keeps on pulling his foot off of that cage, and he's telling him, don't put your toes in the cage. But Purvis keeps going back to it. Michael Chandler said, if, if I believe it was a fluke, if it was fact or fiction, the first time, it doesn't matter. He said, I did train for this fight like Brent Primus was the number one lightweight in the world. Well, he better because right now, Brent Primus is the number one light heavyweight in this cage. And he has got to prove that, you know what? No, I am. And that's what he's trying to do right now. Under 90 seconds on the clock here in round number three. Take a look at the hematoma that you can see on Brett Primus's forehead. Right, I referenced that earlier. Yeah, it's getting worse. It's isn't it? getting worse. It's opening. It's, it, it is starting to. What's happened is you get a, a you get a vein inside. It's obviously on the outside of the skull, and it gets crushed, and it starts pumping blood, and that blood will continue to pump until that pressure in that skin equalizes what his blood pressure is. Wow, Dr. McCarthy. <laughs> Nice movement by Brent Primus, trying to go for the leg. Good attack, but Michael Chandler, he, he is a guy that understands all of these positions. His jujitsu is strong, his wrestling is strong, and he's got incredible face. And when you have a guy that's got great face, man, he's hard to move off of. Yeah, Primus was up, out, if you will, for about four seconds before Chandler transitioned once again. Well, the real question is, you know, we're gonna be going into the fourth round. This is a round that Michael Chandler has been to many times. Brent Primus is not, what is he thinking? Michael Chandler has gone the full five rounds three times. We are set for round number four, championship round number one. Question is, how does Brent Primus control Michael Chandler's ability to put him on his back because it's happened in all three rounds. Well, I do think that his coaches were giving him good advice of, hey, man, I need you to go back after hitting that leg. That front leg is out there. I need you to do something. Grimis came out quickly. Chandler was ready. Championship rounds. Fourth round for the first time in the career of Brent Primus. See the bruising on the lead leg on the outside, lower leg of Michael Chandler. But he seems to be moving very well still. Lead left hook. Chandler leaves his hands down low when he extends out with that right hand. He needs to be very careful. Another takedown. Of course, Michael Chandler, teammates with two-time Olympian, 2000 silver medalist, former Bellator welterweight champion, Ben Askren, and UFC welterweight champion, strike four star, Tyron Woodley at the University of Missouri. His wrestling credentials, obviously outstanding, Division I All-American. There's no doubt that Michael Chandler is a great wrestler, a great fighter. But I'll tell you what, something was fed to those guys at Missouri during that time, man. <laughs> Between Askren, Woodley, Chandler, they got a group. 
What you're seeing, you're trying to see, you're seeing Michael Chandler try to turn his hip to get past that foot. Brent Primus is a great jiu-jitsu practitioner, great black belt, understands how to control the guard, but the biggest problem he has is he cannot get Michael Chandler off of him. Michael Chandler named his adopted son Hap, Hap Whitaker, named after the old Missouri wrestling coach Hap Whitney. Michael won the Hap Whitney Award twice during his days at Mizzou. Three minutes on the clock, round four. You know, Chandler's being busy right here, and that's why Herb Dean is allowing this to continue. He's not just sitting in guard, going body, body, head. He is trying to move position. He's trying to pass guard. He's not being successful, but it, is he trying? Is he trying to progress that position? That's why now you see Herb Dean says, let's work, and you see Michael Chandler going back to trying to pass the guard, although he's not successful in doing it. Past the midway point of round four. Posturing up here, keeping his head down on Primus. This is a good technique. But with that position and then posturing up, that opens things up for Primus, but he's got to open that guard to attack. Neutralizing doesn't score you points. It does nothing for you. Being on the bottom right now for Primus, especially doing what he's doing by body triangling here, Putting the triangle all over the body in guard only tells the judge you're trying to be defensive. You're trying to hold on to him. You're not trying to do any kind of submission. That's not going to get you anywhere. And you pointed out that Chandler's staying busy enough that Herb Dean's letting him fight here in this position on the ground. And if you're looking at the way you can score this fight, you could maybe possibly give Primus that second round. But the first and the third, and now the fourth, is going to Chandler. So if you're thinking about possibly getting a decision from these judges, it's slipping away quickly. Michael Chandler has gone the full five rounds three times. He is one and two in those fights. Both losses by split decision to Eddie Alvarez and Will Brooks. The win was a split decision victory over Benson Henderson. Right now, we're not looking towards a split. If this pattern continues for another almost six minutes. Well, one of the things that we've always talked about with Chandler is he does, he does come out and he fights fast and he, he runs himself at 100 miles an hour and sometimes burns himself out. That's where Benson Henderson almost got him you know, near the end of that fight. In this type of fight, with what he's doing with Primus, Michael Chandler can do this for a long, long time. He's going to come out in the fifth round, and he's still going to have a lot of energy and be very strong. Good job of coming up if he gets that second. That goes right out. But a good attempt by Brett Primus to try to make something happen. 15 seconds. Prim is trying to do some type of damage from his back. Why leave it in the cage, man? Do everything you can to take him out in this round. Fifth and final round. The champion in the red gloves, the former champion on Big John's scorecard, has won every single round. He is in the blue gloves. Primus. First and foremost, needs to stand his feet. That was a nice body shot followed by another one. Back to the takedown. And that's that difference in that wrestling level. Chael talked about Brent Primus being a good wrestler, and he is, but he's not of the level of Michael Chandler. Eight fights in eight years. 14 fights, including his amateur career in 13 years. Primus on the verge of being defeated for the first time as a professional. He was 13 and one as an amateur. But See, anything can happen in these final three minutes and 50 seconds, partner. Primus trying to work towards that Uma Plata here. He's got his leg in position, but he, 
Michael is stopping his hips with the arm that he's being attacked with. Curtis is going to have to decide, do I want to stay with this or do I want to try to create a scramble and get out? Because right now, he does not have it. You guys need to work out. See Chandler pulling out of that Umaplata, right back in the guard. This is what I'm talking about. You see Primus, he's sitting up. He's trying to create things. He's just getting stymied by Michael Chandler understanding the position and putting him back onto his back. Under three minutes. Michael Chandler looking to pull even with Patricio Pitbull with his 16th career win inside the Bellator cage. Become the three time lightweight champion. Past the midway point of our fifth and final round. Wrestling 101, ground and pound 201. Again, Primus looking for that Imaplata, trying to set something up. It's just not there for him. Brent Primus to show, man, he's a tough guy. He has taken a lot of big shots on the ground, and he is still trying to move his hips and still trying to create openings to try to get something on Michael Chandler. Under two minutes now. Something spectacular needs to happen for Primus now. It has happened before, but I won't go into too many details. Excuse my buddy here tonight. <laughs> he, know, he knows. <laughs> it has happened, but you know, look at it. You gotta give it to Brent Primus. He has come out here, he's tried to defend yep. his belt. Michael Chandler has just been just a little too fast, a little too strong, a little bit too explosive in putting him on his back. And Brett, Brett was not able to do the things that he thought he could do off of his back against Chandler. But what we've learned tonight, and what I think the world wasn't certain of because of these long lapses of inactivity for Brett Primus, is that he is a high-level, real-deal fight. Oh, there's no doubt. Brent Primus is the real deal. This man can fight. He is tough. He is, he is durable. I mean, you look at the shots he's taking. He's dangerous. He's still, look at what he's doing right here, trying to push Michael Chandler off, trying to get himself back to his feet. This is proof that Brent Primus is the real deal. Michael Chandler, just the superior fighter, 538 days since fight number one. 10 seconds remain. Almost looks like Curtis is going for a good yeah. for a go go plata there. Good attempt. Oh, big knee. knee. Final seconds of the fight. And they go the distance. Here is Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance in tonight's world title fight, we go to your three judges at cage side. All three judges, Michael Bell, Eric Colon, Ron McCarthy, all see it exactly the same. 50 to 45 for the winner by unanimous decision. And now the new and three-time Bellator lightweight world champion, Iron Michael. 16th career win, third time. That belt has been put around his waist. He's got three title defenses. He's with Come Big here, John. Woo. Congratulations on an outstanding victory against a guy that you have to admit is one hell of a fighter. That was uh, that was an awesome performance by Brent Primus. Man, that uh, that guy came in here ready to defend that belt. He is who he says he is. 
Uh, heck of a performance, heck of a fight. He made me earn every single moment of that fight. So thank you, Brent, for stepping in this cage with me. In the second round, in the first round, you were able to put him down with a beautiful left hand. And then in the second round, he put you down and he had you in a choke. How close was that? Not close. You saw me give the, you saw me give the thumbs up, man. Uh, um, it, was, it was there, but it was, it was a little bit too high. I actually get in that position a lot. Um, and I usually end up in, in a, a scramble or reversal like that, but it was tight, man. He's, uh, he's crafty, he's crafty than I thought. Well, we talked about on the broadcast and said that a lot of times the same position you were in against Eddie Alvarez and you got yourself out, and then you decided to utilize that Missouri wrestling that you came into MMA with and you brought it back today to put him in position so you could control the position, control the fight. Talk about that. Yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it, it turned into the game plan. You know, I was, I was able to get on top, do some damage, man. Every single moment I spent at Northwest High School and then uh, Mizzou Wrestling uh, paid off tonight so I can wear this belt for a third time. Um, man, like I said, he's a heck of a competitor. He, uh, he, brought, he brought it, he brought it, and it was, uh, it was a heck of a fight. I agree with you. I want to congratulate Champ on that third time being the Bellator lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, champion Michael Chandler. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, men and women in uniform. The reason I get to do what I do, the reason we all get to do what we do is because of you guys, your selflessness, your sacrifice. We love each and every one of you, each and every moment that you have served this country. God bless you guys.